Ever spare a thought for what else is in your fuel tank apart from the fuel you've just put in? I think you'd be surprised, especially in diesel tanks. Huh? Now, if you've got a petrol engine, you won't have fungal issues, but water in any fuel tank, petrol or diesel, is a real problem. That means your quad bike, boat or jet ski running petrol engines may have a bit of condensation or the fuel may have gone stale. Well, at this time of year, holiday time, you're probably dusting off gear that's been sitting idle for a few months. Now, maybe you don't need a front-end loader to clear fire brakes at your holiday home. Perhaps it's a generator you've got. Either way, if it runs on diesel, it's susceptible to this nasty little fungus. But there is a solution. Imagine this is your car's fuel tank. When the tank's low on fuel, the contents is mainly air that contains moisture. The diesel will draw that moisture out of the air into itself. Combine that with condensation that forms on the walls, and I think you'd be amazed at the amount of water that can actually accumulate in the fuel over a given time. So what harm does a little bit of water do? Well, it allows this stuff to grow for a start. This stuff is called Cladiosporium resini. It's a fungal bacterial growth that breeds and lives in the water of your diesel tank. This fungi will clog fuel filters and destroy fuel pumps, causing some very expensive repairs, if not kept in check. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to destroy the environment in which the fungi live and then break them down into particles of less than one micron so they can pass through the fuel filter and be burnt safely during the combustion process. So how do we do that? secret weapon. Just check this out. If we take a test tube of diesel fuel and then add some water to it and give it a shake, look how it curdles. If we then go a step further and add some fungi to it, we then have what probably resembles the inside of your fuel tank. Now, if we put some water finding paste on this rod and dip it into the test tube, it will go bright red when it contacts the water. Okay, now for the F10. Pour some into the tube, give it a shake, and look. Clean, clear diesel. To prove it, if we put some more paste on the rod and dip it in, there's no change in colour, proving that the water and fungi have been swallowed up into harmless, minute particles. This stuff is also really good at rejuvenating fuel that's been sitting around for a while. If you take a look at the next demo, we've added sulfuric acid to diesel to give us a mixture very similar to aged fuel. If we put some of the mixture onto a tissue, the acidity eats right through. Imagine what that's doing to your fuel system and combustion chambers. Pour in the additive, shake it up a little, and hey presto, good, clean, clear diesel. Now if we put some onto a tissue, it's harmless. Once again, the acid has been neutralised and broken down into so minute a particle, it can be safely burnt during combustion. It's great stuff. It'll clean the fuel system injectors in petrol engines, even get rid of fungi out of diesels. So whether it's your car, boat, motorbike or generator, it's a great way to extend the life of your engine. See you next time.